Izzy Stradlin is the original rhythm guitarist from Guns N' Roses, a very important member of the band who wrote and co-wrote some of Guns N' Roses' most iconic songs. Now, fans filming concerts is very common today, but it wasn't back in the early 90s. During a Guns N' Roses concert on July the 2nd, 1991, in Maryland Heights, Missouri, which is a suburb of St. Louis, an incident took place. During a rendition of Rocket Queen, Axl Rose noticed that a fan was filming the show with a camera. After asking the venue security to take the camera away, Axl himself jumped into the audience and confronted the fan. Axel was subsequently pulled away from the audience by security. Once back on stage, Axel announced to the crowd that he's going home, slamming his mic on the ground and walking off stage, eventually joined by the rest of the band. The angered crowd proceeded to riot, leading to dozens of injuries and significant damage to the venue. Police were unable to arrest Axel Rose until nearly a year later, due to the fact that Guns N' Roses were touring overseas. Charges were filed against Axl Rose, but a judge ruled that Axl did not directly incite the riot. In his defense, Axl Rose stated that the Guns N' Roses security team had made four separate requests to the venue security staff to remove the camera, which apparently were ignored, and that other members of the band had reported being hit by bottles thrown at them from the audience, while the security staff refused to enforce a drinking limit. Now, this type of incident wasn't unique to the St. Louis concert, however, as a similar type of incident nearly unfolded on August 24th, 1991 at a Guns N' Roses concert in Mannheim, Germany. Guns N' Roses is infamous for being a band which had trouble following them wherever they went. The unnecessary drama that followed Guns N' Roses was not something Izzy Stradlin was willing to deal with any longer. On November 7th, 1991, Izzy Stradlin quit the band. Izzy himself cited a combination of Axl Rose's behavior, his apparent mismanagement of the band, and various difficulties being around Slash, Matt Sorum, and Duff McKagan, who at the time still had various addictions, while Izzy Stradlin himself was now sober. The combination of all these different reasons led to him eventually departing Guns N' Roses. In Izzy Stradlin's own words, quote, Once I quit drugs, I couldn't help looking around and asking myself, is this all there is? I was just tired of it. I needed to get out. 